Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and to more of the latest in pro wrestling keeping you up to date. Coming up with discussing recent reports as we head into SummerSlam, WWE reportedly postponing one of their top feuds, storyline plans for AJ Styles were cancelled, and many of it didn't even come to fruition on Raw now that Vince McMahon decided to move him to SmackDown. CM Punk as always is having some fun on the internet teasing a return and an even bigger moment that he could be giving us in the future. Release WWE star returns to Impact Wrestling. Seems like there was a freak accident happening during next week's Raw tapings to the point where a match had to be stopped. Major potential surprise and shocking plans for the Seth Rollins vs Rey Mysterio feud that is heating up right now. Before we get into it, you guys know the usual cheap plug, so let's add one to all of it. If you want to continue the wrestling discussion, go ahead and join the Savage Club Discord as I'm always active over there and many of the community are loving it. So don't miss out on it and join up. Anyways, uh, let's jump into all the latest. The SummerSlam pay-per-view has been in the discussion a lot as of late as that is the event that WWE is hoping to make it as normal as possible with everything that is going on. WrestleMania wasn't canceled, instead we got two nights of it and there was some ups and downs but it still felt weird and it didn't really feel like it was WrestleMania. It wasn't on the grandest stage of them all and it just didn't have that feel to it So looking forward to SummerSlam most of the reports have indicated that WWE is trying to make that event this year's WrestleMania as they want to make it as big as possible and go all out for it This even reports indicating that WWE might be willing to delay the event at least until September If that is how long it's going to take for everything to go back to normal where they could have shows and extra arenas with live audience there aren't NXT superstar and their own talent and while all of that is on the question it looks like something else is being affected as WWE is reportedly postponing one of their top SummerSlam matches slash feud that being between Sasha Banks and Bayley so as we know Sasha Banks has been tagging along with SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley recently they have adopted a much different dynamic where Sasha Banks is rarely allowed to speak and there is some tension brewing between both of them on a weekly basis. WrestleVoice reports that WWE was planning for Sasha Banks versus Bayley to happen at SummerSlam, but that that is not happening anymore. Things could change and they could have the match, but as of right now, they are going to extend the feud for a bit longer instead of carrying on with the plan that they had for the past few months. Another reason for this delay is due to SummerSlam's location. Since SummerSlam will no longer be in Boston, at least that's the case as of right now then that means that Sasha Banks won't be getting a hometown pop which was what WWE was looking for. Their goal right here is to have that feud be one of the top matches at the event build up with the aspect that she is gonna be taking on Bayley for the championship at her hometown and their plan was to probably make Sasha Banks the champion give her that massive Boston pop making her a massive baby face. I mean Sasha Banks is already seemingly being positioned as the babyface in this feud while Bailey's being portrayed as the heel champion using Sasha Banks while still acting like they are best friends but all she's doing is trying to keep that title around her waist. Based on everything that has been happening on Smackdown clearly WWE is headed this direction but we just don't know when it's going to boil over. Over the last couple of weeks we've seen even more tension between both of them but it seems like things just end up resetting so this week we get Bailey upsetting Sasha Banks or Charlotte Flair upsetting Sasha Banks trying to make her realize things and then the next week they kind of just go back to normal there's never a follow-up to any type of heat that they end up having this certainly feels like it is WWE way of trying to delay things and just keeping the tension going until they finally know what exactly is going to be happening with SummerSlam to know if they're going to give us the massive match or not at that event. Speaking about change of plans, as noted last week, and AJ Styles moving to WWE SmackDown brand was a late decision, likely in reaction to the declining ratings 
of WWE television. The Wrestling Observer Radio did indicate though that there were long-term plans for AJ Styles on Raw, but those plans were dropped. It was noted that AJ Styles was supposed to get several new baby faces on Raw over to a new level, but that never happened. Instead, the only person that he ended up putting over was technically The Undertaker on the way out. But The Undertaker doesn't need to get put over. And to more specifics, the Wrestling Observer Radio indicated that those guys that AJ Styles was supposed to put over sooner or later were guys like Ricochet, Sandro Alexander, Humberto Carrillo. But that didn't happen. Every single one of them was supposed to be in a big feud with AJ Styles where they would get over and they would win the title, but not one of them did. Really make you wonder what else WWE had planned for AJ Styles on Monday Night Raw, but ultimately had to scrap all of that only for him to get moved back to SmackDown before even capturing the big title on Raw. Some of the names on the list are very interesting though because guys like Ricochet and Cedric Alexander are said to be guys that Vince McMahon just stopped pushing them out of nowhere because he gave up on them so maybe that's why some of these guys didn't go on to defeat AJ Styles for the title when he had that United States Championship. Moving into some other news and some quick news good old CM Punk is back at it again on the internet and as always he is causing a bit of a reaction so Fightful TV asked the following question and tagged CM Punk in it. What is your favorite CM Punk moment of all time? And within a couple of minutes, we had CM Punk dropping a response to this, quote, retweeting it with three simple words, TBD, which stands for to be determined. So obviously, everybody got excited. Everyone is still getting excited and his Twitter is blowing up up to what exactly he is trying to say. But again, knowing how CM Punk is, especially on social media, he has a big sarcasm and he loves to troll the internet and get people talking about him potentially returning i'm sure that this is just him teasing another return just trying to have some fun with the audience and try to get a reaction on to some serious note what exactly is your favorite cm punk moment i think mine would definitely be the pipe bum which led to everything that was the massive moment at the money in the bank pay-per-view on his hometown in chicago taking on john cena winning the title and walking off on to some other news, there is a return that just happened. So recently released, WWE superstar Jonah Parasso is back with Impact Wrestling as revealed this week. Her return was announced during a short clip on Tuesday episode of Impact Wrestling. Diona Parasso was part of the budget cuts made by WWE last month. NXT wrestlers were under a 30-day non-compete, so that is why she was able to sign with Impact Wrestling this soon. Besides being an NXT superstar, she also sort of became a regular on Monday Night Raw as WWE been using more NXT talent on the main shows. She never got a victory, but she did face off the likes of Nia Jax and was getting to get more television time before being released. And talking about Nia Jax, it's a bit of an unfortunate news coming up as there are new reports circulating on an injury for the WWE Monday Night Raw show that will air next week. Next week's show was taped on Tuesday and the observer is reporting that Carrie Sane was busted open in a match with Nia Jax. The match was stopped and Carrie Sane was cleaned up. There's nothing to indicate that she has an injury that will keep her out of action but it looks like she does have a significant cut. A bit of a freak accident especially when remembering that Carrie Sane had an injury scare just a few weeks ago when she wrestled Nia Jax on Raw. There was a spot in the match where Nia Jax dropped Carrie Sane and narrowly missed hitting the back of her neck and head on the turnbuckle. Now we don't know how it's gonna play out on television just yet. It is too quick to judge, but it's not rocket science. I think it's best for WWE to stop giving us Nia Jax versus Carrie Sane matches. If at the end of these matches, all that we're getting is Carrie Sane being a little bit more hurt. Moving into some other news and a potential surprise spoiler for the Rey Mysterio retirement ceremony and what it could all lead to which seems to be very interesting. So WWE announced that next week we're going to be getting the retirement ceremony for Rey Mysterio and that's going to be hosted 
hosted by Seth Rollins. So obviously the retirement is not real. It is all part of storyline as far as we know. What Seth Rollins is going to do, we don't necessarily know, but it is worth mentioning an interesting note from Raw that Seth Rollins mentioned Rey Mysterio's son Dominic during his promo, which could be hinting at something. That is interesting because the plan since last year was to have Dominic to be involved with Rey Mysterio for a few weeks and then do disappear so he could continue training and then bring him back in 2020 for his in-ring debut. That debut was possibly going to be happening at this year's WrestleMania, but with everything going on, WWE changed a lot of plans. Adding to all of this, the main reason why Rey Mysterio returned to WWE in 2018 is that he was told that his son would get an opportunity to work for the company. Another sign that points to Dominic returning to WWE TV is that he quietly deleted his private Facebook account in recent weeks and his friends have been in the dark about his wrestling career. Likely because whatever they have planned for him is being kept a secret so it is wise to keep your friends out of the loop to prevent any news from leaking. Now Rey Mysterio contracts deal is set to expire in a couple of months but the expectation is WWE will be able to work out a deal with him and that he wants to stay with the WWE as he wants to make sure that his son's debut with the company. To make things even more interesting, there have been rumors since last year of Dominic turning on his father, which will certainly make his debut more impactful. With that in mind, of course speculations are running wild of the possibility of Dominic joining Seth Rollins as one of his disciples to continue further on with the storyline against Rey Mysterio, which also has other superstars involved already like Alistair Black, Humberto Carrillo and so on. Dominic joining Rey Mysterio's stable would really be a great opportunity for WWE to make him a heel and again make it as significant as possible. I am certainly all down for this because it has a shocker value to it all around. Even if Seth Rollins been mentioning Dominic in his promo and kinda making sure that we have him in our head, it will still be a massive surprise if it does happen if Dominic turns on his father and add an extra layer to this uh, Seth Rollins versus Rey Mysterio feud. Anyways guys, uh, that is what I got for you in this roundup. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of anything that we ended up discussing today. If you enjoy or found it informative, hit that owl boy drop and turn on those notifications to be up to date on more. I'll catch you guys on the next one, so stay savage.